This is, this book is the perfect justice of God. This is the Bible. There are 66 books in here. Before we die, we need to know what God put in these books. Because these books are the perfect justice of God. They are the characteristics of God. They are the book. This is the book of life. Before we die, we need to know the truth. That is the reason why the devil doesn't want you to read the Bible. Because almost everyone here has a Bible at home. Oh yes. Almost everyone here has a Bible. But believe me, the Bible is a mystery to them. It is a mystery. Why? Because the devil doesn't want them to read. Yep. The devil knows that if you read the Bible, you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. He doesn't want you to go to heaven because the devil cannot make it back to heaven. Yet he knows the Bible. The devil doesn't want you to be in heaven because it, he knows that it is so sweet to be in heaven. But he made a dumb mistake. God kicked him out. But we have a chance to return to God. Amen. This is your GPS. If you follow this book every single day, just like you scrub yourself every day, just like you take a shower every day, just like you feed your stomach every day, you spend time in this book every day, you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. God sent me here to beg of you. I am beseeching you on behalf of Jesus. All you need to do is to repent. Turn around and follow Jesus before you die. Hello? Because the Lord Jesus Christ is the only way to eternal peace. As I said before, in 100 years, everyone here will be history. Oh yes. Do you know your final destination? Do you know where you will be forever and ever? Do, do you know exactly where you will be forever and ever? All you need to do is to follow the GPS. Because this book will lead you to your final destination. This book will lead you directly to Jesus. I guarantee you, because the Lord Jesus Christ is not a liar. Amen. Do you really want to die without making peace with God? Hello? I am speaking to you. Have you made peace with God? Do you have a personal relationship with the Word of God? Hello? Before you die, you need to confess your sins to God. I am begging you today on behalf of Jesus. Make a U-turn and follow Jesus before you die. You will die. Yes, you will. The question is, have you made peace with God? Can you call God your father? Hey, can you call God your father? Because sin separates you from God. Sin will destroy you. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. God is not talking about physical death. God is talking about the second death, which is the lake of fire. Many people don't believe. Just like in the days of Noah. Noah preached the word of God for so many years. Nobody believed. God does not exist. You are crazy. You've been on crack. You've been smoking. God is not going to destroy this beautiful world. You, you wait, wait and see. The Lord Jesus Christ will destroy everything with fire. Remove yourself from this filthy place. Remove yourself. God wants to save you. Show some kind of love to yourself by surrendering your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Humble yourself 
under the mighty hand of God and God will exalt you in due time. Just humble yourselves. And salvation is free. I am crying and begging you today in the name of Jesus. Make peace with God because the time is at hand. The day of the Lord is at hand. The Lord Jesus Christ will come as a thief in the night. Bring these signs to the car down. Too many will be sorry. Too many will be begging. But Jesus will simply say to you, I never knew you away from me. Don't wait for tomorrow because tomorrow is not promised to anyone. Right. You don't have to wait for tomorrow. You know why? Because salvation is free. You don't have to pay anything to become a child of the king. You don't have to pay anything to become a heavenly citizen. You don't have to pay anything to have a place in heaven. Because the Lord Jesus Christ paved the way. It is free. Everything is free with Jesus. Amen, brother. Everything is free with Jesus. If anyone begs you for money, for salvation, he is a liar. He is a child of the devil. Because the Bible says, freely you have received, freely give. That's the gospel. The gospel is so beautiful. It is the perfect wisdom of God. Oh yes, it is the perfect justice of God. If you would humble yourself under the mighty hand of God and read this book, put your smartphone aside, turn the TV off, get on your knees, Lord Jesus, thank you for waking me up this morning. You didn't wake yourself up this morning. The Lord Jesus Christ woke you up. That I know, I didn't know until he said that to me. Lamentation chapter 3, verse 22 tells you that. The Lord Jesus wakes everyone up every single morning. Until the day that he says, enough is enough. But in the meantime, God wants you to use the time that he gave you wisely. Oh yes, Ephesians chapter 6. Ephesians 5, 16 says, Redeeming the time for the days are evil. What does it mean? It means use your time wisely because you know how long you've been here, but you don't know how long your master will keep you here. That you don't know. I, I don't care how smart you think you are. I, 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 don't, I don't care how clever you think you are. You don't know the day you will die. Only Jesus knows. You know why? Because it is written, Revelation chapter 1 verse 18. He has the keys of death. Oh yes. He has the keys of hell. Jesus is the ultimate authority. Oh yes. I'm here on behalf of Jesus begging you, beseeching you to humble yourself before the Lord Jesus Christ. Because... There is something in every human being that is so precious to God. It is the image. In Genesis chapter 1 verse 26, God says, let us make man in our image after our likeness. What does it mean? It means that God put his infinite wisdom into man. God put his characteristics in man. Because God wanted to have a personal relationship with mankind. Because of Adam and Eve, they turned everything upside down. But the Lord Jesus Christ came with a perfect message in John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish forever but have everlasting life. Do you really understand what Jesus is saying to you? I came to make an exchange with you because I don't want my image to be into the lake of fire forever. 
They're getting the point. They're I, I put my image into you. I want to redeem my image because the image is so precious to God. Hey, hey. Stanley, how you doing? The how image you doing? that How's we have in our system Both of us is so meaningful well. to God. Uh, God doesn't want Jerry, you to lose you remember, that image. God doesn't I, I want you to I be into the lake of fire forever. That okay. is why Jesus came uh, I, 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 in the flesh. I'm, I'm, I'm hard of hearing. Oh. I knew when I, I am crying to you today. I am begging you today. He came along and like, he's been a blessing. Every, Make a U turn and, back and, and back follow back. God and, before and you die. Seven thirty. Believe me, you will die. Well, the question I, is. I rode the city bus in. Yep. <laughs> and I'm going down. To my Have you made peace with him? Got Jehovah Witnesses. Can't tell. Can you call God your heavenly Father? I've been having fun. Can you call God, God your friend? You. God bless you. See you later. Hey. Do you have hey. a quiet time with God every day? Hello? Do you think God every morning for waking you up? God bless you, bro. Pray for me. Pray for me. I need prayer. Dave, pray for me. Oh yes, I need prayer because the devil doesn't want me to preach. Amen, brother. Amen. The devil doesn't want me to preach. Because when the devil is the word of God, he's got problem. Because the word of God is so powerful. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 4 verse 4, Greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. That is the Holy Spirit. I'm here today on behalf of Jesus. Because the Lord Jesus Christ is not here. He is coming very soon. But my job is to work. I am saved to work. I am not working to be saved. I am saved to work. My job is to preach the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ until the day I die. I don't know about you. I don't know how much you love God. But let me tell you something. I am not ashamed of God. Amen. Because it is because of God I'm on my feet today. It, at 62, I am 62 years old. Today I'm 62 years old because of God. Because I was supposed to be dead. But the Lord said to me, Ben, make a U-turn and follow me. Make a U-turn and follow me. I have been following God for 36 years. Believe me, Jesus has never shall change me. Amen. Never. He has always been with me every single step of the way. Jesus wants to save you today. All you need to do is to surrender your life to him. Believe me, if you would make a decision to follow Jesus today, you will never ever regret it. I guarantee you. Because he is listening to me right now. Amen. The Lord Jesus Christ is listening. All you need to do is to surrender to him. Because the time is at hand. The Lord Jesus Christ will return as a thief in the night for too many. Too many are on their way to hell. This is a cemetery. Too many dead people around. But the word of God will raise you from the dead. If you would spend time reading the word of God for your life every day, you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Amen. Oh, yes. The Gospel of John chapter 8 verse 16, 36 says, If the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. If Jesus sets you free, you will be free indeed. Sin is multiplying in the world today. Just like in the days of Noah. The Bible says that Noah was a preacher of righteousness. The man preached the word of God for so many years. But nobody believed. Nobody believed. To them that Noah was crazy. He was a crazy man. But let me tell you something. God is taking notes. God is watching you. God is watching you every step of the way. Remember that God is controlling your life. 
Amen. The Lord Jesus Christ is controlling your life. The Bible says Jesus wakes you up every day. He wakes you up every morning. In return, we need to acknowledge God in every step of the way. Because it is simply by the grace of God you are about to walk on your feet. There will be a time God will remove his strength away from you. There will be a time you will be on a walker. There will be a time you will be on a wheelchair. Now is the time to serve God. While you're young and strong, it is time to serve the Almighty God. It is time to speak on behalf of God. Because God is so gracious. He is so marvelous. He is so loving. He is so gracious. And today, I'm here on behalf of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus came and preached the gospel for three and a half years and went back home. Now is my time to speak. I know I'm not a good preacher. I know that I'm not a good speaker. Not that I'm speaking the truth. 